Hughes kind of stuck around, and Tyler Robertson found a hole, got it to the net, and over top of Jordan Paperni. Five seconds off the Western Hockey League record for Pro Zone. Klimchuk will send it down deep into the Edmonton zone. Oil Kings back effort. Sautner a lead pass that was tipped. Robertson gets it to the line. Here's Mayo over to the left-hand point for Sautner. A shot toward the net off the leg is wide of the Brandon net. Eller trying to track it down. We'll live it for Budalucci. Out to the line. Mayo across to the left-hand point. Sautner back to Mayo. Middle of the ice. His shot toward the net. Kicked out by Perperti. Sautner on the near side with it here. That pass gloved down by Bertolucci, but the Wheat Kings grab it. And Howelock trying to break up ice gets taken down here. Got tied up with Sautner as he came out of the penalty box. Howelock up with the puck on the far side. Trying to contain it there against the checking of Mayo. Couldn't bust through. Loose puck. Howelock looking for it. Can't fight it. Edmund Peter Quinville right wing for Brandon. Long shot on Jari. That's handled by the Edmonton netminder with the blocker. Fails along the end boards here for the Wheat Kings. Leaving it back down there for Mike Matsuba. Knocked down but gets back up to his feet. Gets a pass out to the line. camps across to the left-hand point for Reed Gow. Gow cross-ice pass. Suba is going to dump it deep into the Oil King zone. Matheos up for checking. Bumping with Mayo over there in the far side corner. For Stelio Matheos, first overall pick in the 2014 Bantam draft. Made his WHL debut and scored his first career goal in the Wheat Kings Regular season finale Saturday against Moose Jaw. Tonight makes his Western Hockey League playoff debut here in the Brandon lineup. Sautner in his own zone. The Edmonton captain starts up ice. That pass for Benson broken up by Waltz. Wheat Kings turning with it. Pass up ahead. John Quinville searching for it in his skates and never really did get good control of that puck. And it was taken away by Sautner getting back defensively for Edmonton. Moved ahead zone, right wing side. Stopping on the near side boards. Bukarts will play it down to the near side corner. Howerlock trying to get it behind the net. It kind of hops up on the meshing of the goal. It's still free there at the side of the net. And now looks like it's... Ch- Go with some traffic in front. Puck to the side boards. Howerlock got it free. Here's a chance. Bukarts walking in. Diggs! And Jerry makes the stop. Oh, look did for the Wheat Kings. Gave them a little bit more confidence in the offensive zone here. They had some good control with the puck and some good scoring chances. Bauer played it on the right wing. Kolda tried to get it back to him. It's off Proveroff to the corner. Pollock after it. That feed tipped away by Patrick. Brandon starts up ice as Patrick will tip it down into the Edmonton zone. Trying to pressure Mayo down there, but he's able to reverse the puck to the far side. Suba near center ice for Brandon. Plays it down deep into the Edmonton zone. Sautner back after it. Played on the left-hand side and then deep down into the Edmonton zone. Six minutes left opening period. Oil Kings up by a score of 2 to nothing. Puck to the far side. Grabbed by Matt Suba. Leaves it at the line. Provorov here. Here's a shot up over top of the net. Chopped to the line and that's off the skate of Provorov as he played by Provorov up ahead. Mathios redirected it down into the Edmonton zone. Sautner able to take it and bring it up ice down the left wing side and across the Brandon line. He comes a shot toward the net handled by Perperni. Kolda on the near side, a pass out for Pollock was broken up. Peter Quinville breaks back down the right wing side for Brandon. Quinville dodging the Orban check, a pass out front looking for Nolan Patrick. Couldn't find it. Sautner grabbing it deep in his own zone for the Oil Kings. Played it in front of his own net. Chopped to the far side by Orban who went over and got it. Slipped it to the line and just out. Played back in. Patrick has to clear on a delayed offside. Pass to Magali. And that's fed up an open wing down inside the Edmonton line. Turning after it is Sautner with a feed up ahead. The goal scores. Shots on our main line motor shot clock. 12-8 in favor of Edmonton. On the far side. Kosh will get it to Brandon Paddock. Poked off his stick. Here's Schmier trying to dish it for Bukarts. And Bukarts had it knocked off his stick by Mayo before he got in the Wheat Kings 3-on-2 if they hurry back the other way. The Patrick pass, though, is not near anyone as he crossed the Edmonton blue line. Pilon out near the line. will send it in deep. Mayo down there along the end boards here for Edmonton. We'll leave it for Sautner. Pressure down there behind the Edmonton goal. It's knocked free. And now Pilon with it ahead on the right wing side. Peter Quinville ahead for Nolan Patrick. Right face-off circle. The shot attempt is wide. Off the end boards. Grabbed by Edmonton. Pollock will just dump one out. Bauer had it knocked off his stick. And good thing because Pollock had snuck in behind the Brandon defense. And then being able to get that pass to him, he would have been off to the races. Played around on the near side boards here, deep in the Edmonton zone. Klimchuk there in the near side corner for Brandon, out to the left-hand point for Provorov. 
Provorov will play it back in deep as it comes around the end boards. Patrick mishandled it on the far side. Pollock able to fend him off and dump one up ahead. Yeah. Brandon Wheat Kings trail the Edmonton Oil Kings 2-0. Long range shot here by Clegg off the glove of Jari. Thrown back across the goal mouth by Howerleck, but ended up on the sideboards. Gow will play it in deep. Bouncing puck tracked down by Mail. He's checked in turn, and it's fed back around the Edmonton net. Clegg on the far side of the liner. Camps put it in deep. Howerleck there along the end boards. We'll leave it for Tim Magali. A pass out looking for Clegg was blocked. Magali in the far corner. Played it behind the Edmonton net. Howerleck trying to fend his man off there and Mail Couldn't do so, and the puck was moved up ahead by the Oil Kings. Magali in here, right wing side for Brandon. Gets a shot away, and the jury turns as the checking of the Oil Kings captain, Ashton Sautner. Magali in as well for Brandon, and it's worked loose. Peter Quinville from the far side with it here for Brandon. will play it on the right wing. Howerleck will send it in deep. Quinville trying to retrieve it there along the end boards. Knocked off the puck by Sautner, who sends it up the far glass. Chuck trying to cut through the neutral zone for Brandon to the Edmonton line. Gets held up. Puck went deep. Sautner back after it. Mishandled the puck. And now the Wheat Kings were able to get control of it. Pilon out near the line to the right point. Provorov back to Pilon. Down it goes. Klimchuk in front. Off a stick. Loose puck. Here's Provorov with a chance turned aside by Jari. Oil King. Line. You can hear the fans kind of buzzing there, Pete. The Oil Kings were changing. Bukarts was wide open at the Edmonton line, but Brandon busy trying to drop the from third in the WHL. Well, they finish up, Pete, 77% or so. Something like that. I got it here. 77.1. There you go. Puck controlled here by Edmonton Mail. Near side. It's Bauer with a shot off the glove of Perperny. Rebound grabbed by Waltz. Fired up the boards, but Mayo hustled to keep it in. And it bounces now to Baddock. His floating shot toward the Brandon net misses. Another 45 seconds left in the Brandon penalty. Waltz will fire it off the glass. It's off the glove of Sautner. Grabbed by John Quinville. And back here loses it, but Howerleck right there to pick it up for Brandon. Will slap it in behind the Edmonton net. Thrown to the far side. Magali will get one out near the line. Gow to Magali. Pass for Colton Waltz. A wrist shot in off of an Edmonton player in front of the net. Grabbed high slot. Bouncing puck. Comes to the end boards. Howerluck after it there here for Brandon. Played it in behind the Oil Kings net. Mayo was able to intercept it and play it for Benson on the right-hand side. Dish it now to... Food store power play contest. And so we will put your name into our monthly draw for a $100 gift card from your Western Manitoba co op food stores. Oil Kings up by sideboards. Klimchuk with it. Cross ice it goes. It's Schmier top of the right circle. Dancing his way in. Backhand shot turned aside by Jari. On the far side, Klimchuk trying to chase it down here for Brandon. Played around the Edmonton net where Mayo will play it ahead. And Edgar's called up the right wing side. Quinville to Patrick, who brings it into the Edmonton zone. Stopping and then playing it around the boards. Peter Quinville trying to track it down. will send it back up the far side. Waltz played it down deep. Klimchuk there in the far corner. Got knocked down by Mayo. Peter Quinville after it falls as he tries to spin away from the checking there as Sautner. Quinville knocks it free. Gets it out for Nolan Patrick. Out to the line now to Waltz from the left-hand point. Again, puts it in deep. Here's Quinville out front. Klimchuk banging at it on the doorstep too over the Pema Valley Hawks after 40 minutes in game four of the Manitoba AAA Midget Hockey League final. Surely a lost faceoff. Oil Kings controlling and Mayo will play it for Pollock here on the near side. Klimchuk turns and Brandon up ice as Klimchuk tips it down into the Edmonton zone and chases in there after it. He's taken down by Sautner trying to race in to take this one and Brandon will head to the power play momentarily. They're on a delay right now and a pair for Brandon out to the line. It'll go for Clay. To the right hand point for Roy. Back to Clay. Far side. Bukart. The shot is over top of the eye. Wheat Kings managed to hold it in off this faceoff. Bukarts to Patrick up top to the line for Clegg. Across to Eric Roy near the right-hand point. Back it goes to Clegg to the far side now for Patrick. Patrick to the far corner. Bukarts in front. Roy on the doorstep with a chance and a stop here for Brandon along with Mathales. Mathales from center sending it down deep into the Edmonton zone. 
Sautner back after it behind his own goal here for the Oil Kings, waiting in behind his own net. 7.15 to go, third period, and Brandon down by three. Pass to Dyson Mayo as the All Kings bring it up ice. Mayo a quick turns and brings it back up ice for Brandon across the line. He comes, a shot attempt off of Sautner and grabbed by Edmonton. And Ralph will head back up ice here. Well, they're going to have to try and get one quickly here. Down three with under five minutes to go. Puck played out into the center ice area, corralled by Mayo near his own blue line, panel to Klimchuk as they bring it across the Edmonton line, trying to get away from the Mayo check as he played it in and it ended up being slapped around the boards and it's John Quinville with a quick shot that went off the outside of the Edmonton net. Quinville leaves it for Bukarts, a pass out for Patrick, misses and he gets to the line, here's Roy with a shot that went off a late here for Brandon, tied up at the hash marks there with Kep. Puck will get to the line, Sautner with it, shot off the glove of Paperni and wide of the Brandon neck. Baddock trying to play one there, it's intercepted by Provorov and the Wheat Kings will start up ice, the lead feed up ahead. Klimchuk on a puck that bounces here into the Edmonton zone and it hopped over to the near side where Sautner grabbed it and slapped to go third period. Oil Kings leading Brandon 4-1. John Quinville left face off circle. Couldn't reach the pass in behind him and now it's knocked away by Sautner and the Oil Kings up by Sautner right wing side here for Edmonton. The shot blocked back to Sautner and another shot that's blocked. Bouncing puck in front and now Roy able to come away with it here for Brandon. We got under a minute to go here in the third period. Tim McGauley trying to break across the Edmonton line. Got held up by Orban. Puck bounced out to center. Peter Quinville will play it back